Hello, what's up YouTube, Brony Sweet and I'm sure and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily save a number of photos or a big number of photos in Photoshop after doing screen retouching. So this has to take so many questions because you don't want to retouch so many photos at a go and maybe you have a blackout and you lose power and your computer shuts down when you have already edited a bunch of photos and you lose out on the project process. So always make sure that you always have a backup and if I told you are using a laptop make sure the battery is really good enough so this is more like a disclaimer so after you have done the skin retouching for all your images and you have done the color grading and you have been doing that on a bunch of photos for example you have been editing a couple of maybe a hundred photos from a photo shoot or maybe a wedding if I told you shoot weddings and you just want to save those photos as you're trying to do anything or something else as the photos are automatically being saved. This is a tutorial that you're going to be looking forward to. So I just request that you hit the like button on this video because when you hit the like button, this or YouTube tends to recommend this video to so many people out there that are going to be able to be saved by this very technique that I'm about to show you in Photoshop. So make sure that you have a good power system and your power is stable and if I told you are using a laptop like I am doing right now make sure that the laptop is really having a very nice and stable battery and you don't have to run into those issues of maybe losing out on power and make sure it is maybe plugged out or plugged in rather and you have the power running through a computer as you're trying to save your images so the other thing you have to take into consideration is before you can even plan to save the images make sure that you have added every adjustment to your photos and you feel like the export or a saving process is going to be a final step for your process in photoshop so what you have to ensure is first of all this is the very first step so you have started with this tutorial and if i told you like it make sure you hit the like button and if i told you tend to forget or miss out on anything let me know in the comment section. So we're just going to come right here to the finder. If I told you to use Windows, just go to any location and you choose it. So for this case, I'm just going to save my photos on the desktop. So I'm just going to right click and create a folder. So the very first step is creating a folder in a location where you want to save your photos automatically. So I'm just going to come and hit right here. And I'm going to rename this maybe to save save multiple uh, my spelling is failing me save multiple photos just like that and this is the folder in which the photos are going to be saved so and i've chosen a folder of my desktop and i'm going to minimize this and we come back into photoshop so these are photos that we just want to save after maybe doing skin retouching on them and we feel like uh, we are good to go. So what we are going to do, we are just going to come right here to File. Hope you are looking at this. So when you come to File, come down to Scripts. Let me repeat this. You come to File and you come down to Scripts and you come to your Image Processor. So when you come to Image Processor, it is going to open another file or another window for you right on top of the photoshop window and right here we have various options that are running from one to four so the very first option is select the images to process and the second is select location to save photos or to save the processed images then the third is going to be file type and the fourth is going to be preferences so here is why you have to pay maximum attention because this is the most important part for this tutorial so just come right here and since you have been editing a number or so many photos the option you want to select is use open images so what photoshop is going to do it is going to automatically make sure that it puts all the images that are open in your photoshop into consideration when you select this option then when you're done doing this you can come to the second option which is select location to save processed images 
So under this, remember we created the very first folder, or we created a folder on our desktop where we want to save the images. And if at all you hadn't created the folder, you are not going to be able to create it when you reach this step. So the very first thing has to always be create that folder so that you can have a backup. Because when you choose the first option which says save in same location, it may replace other images that you have and they have the same name or the same information. So make sure you select the second option which is selecting the folder and that folder remember we saved it on the desktop yeah i'm just going to come right here and i look for our folder and i'm going to look for it which is save multiple photos and just click on it right there and hit open so when you hit open you're going to be able to see the folder in which your photos are going to be saved so we're going to option number three which is file type so under file type remember we just want the best quality out of the images and what we have to do is come into the save option and of course we want to save the photos as jpeg files because when we save them as jpeg it means that these are going to be supported by uh, most social media websites or platforms or even if at all you just have the possibility to print the photos you are going to be having all that flexibility to do it when you save them as jpeg files and the quality of course you want the highest quality which is 12 if at all you want a low quality you can select that by typing in the value of figure right here then i make sure that i don't resize to fit then the other option that you have to do is converting this to converting all the photos into srgb remember we don't want our photos to change in color after we have been able to save them in photoshop so make sure you check this option convert to srgb and if at all you'd love to save your images as uh, psds or tiff files you can come and check these two options and you can save them as tiff files but for this case i want to show you can you can save jpeg files and the very last option is preferences so under preferences we have different options whereby we have copyright information you can add some copyright or you can add some information to your images as a form of metadata so for this case i can just come and simply type in ronix photography just like that and you can see we have another option which says run action so if at all You'd love an action to run over your images as they are being saved. Maybe you just want to add a little bit of sharpening to your photos as they are trying to be saved. You can come right here and you choose the action. So you first of all choose the folder from which or where that action belongs and you choose it. And now you can come and choose the action that you want to be applied. So for this case, maybe if I told you just want to add a little bit of color pop to your photos or maybe if I told you want to sharpen the photos, as they are being saved you can select that and that is going to be running as the images are going to be saved so as the image is going to be saved the action is going to also sharpen that photo and by the time the image has been saved that image is going to be sharpened because the action is going to be already running over it so for this case i don't want to run an action over my photos but i want to add some copyright information to my photos then also include the ICC profile because when you check these two options, they include ICC profile and convert to sRGB. It means that your photos are not going to be able to change in color after you've been able to save them automatically in Photoshop. So when you feel like everything is done and you're really done saving or creating or ticking all the available options right in this window, you can just come and hit on run so just come and select run and when you click on that it is going to start loading and saving your photos automatically and within a few moments your photos are going to be saved in that folder so photoshop is going to take a while trying to do this and as it is doing this maybe you can be doing some other things maybe you had another shoot and you didn't want to go for that shoot before making a delivery or before printing out your photos so you can be 
doing all that as Photoshop is automatically running everything for you and when it is done it is automatically going to stop and let's see the folder in which uh, we save the photos so let's just be checking on the progress in that folder so we're just going to come to our folder and you can see it created for us a jpeg folder so if at all you are creating maybe t files or you are saving psd documents it is going to create other folders right here so you, you can see right here we have our jpeg folder and it is saving a photo as you can see it is adding those photos and remember these ones i had already saved so i'm just going to hit ok and we are done saving the photos so basically this is how to save a mount for and so many photos in photoshop after working on them at once and this is going to help you save time after doing skin retouching remember after doing skin retouching you may be a little bit tired and so exhausted so that we don't and we may not be having that option of just coming to file and come to export and coming to export as so we're not going to be able to go through all this tiresome process and this is going to help us save time so if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating